Hi, welcome back. My name is Josh and welcome to EBB or Electric Bikes Brisbane. Today is a very exciting day because I'll be introducing to you the new Bosch Smart System. We're going to talk about the hardware that currently exists and is available in e-bikes today, along with some of those software features. My first impressions of these things, thanks to Reese and Muller for the Charger 4 Vario, testing that out. We'll look at some of the new hardware and software coming down the line. And then as a customer in 2022, what should you buy at this point in time? So what is the new Bosch Smart System? It is the foundation of a new electronic platform for which they'll devise new software and hardware features going down the line. We're really excited to see this because it'll empower the user, but also they'll bring forward their existing hardware features like batteries, motors and displays. So with this new hardware, we've got the 750 watt hour power tube, the Bosch CX motor, and the new Kiox 300 display. So starting with the battery, we've got an increase of 20% capacity over the previous existing 625 watt hour power tube. Should feel the same, a little bit heavier, but otherwise for those little bit longer rides, fantastic. When it comes to the motor, if you're used to the Performance CX motor, again, it feels very, very responsive, very efficient, and gives you that torque up those steep hills. So again, you'll feel right at home. Finally, with the Kiox 300 display, you'll get very similar functionality. Your riding screens, your trip information, that's all pretty much the same, but there are some day-to-day -day tweaks that allow you to make use of this display a little bit better. And finally, with a new Bosch accessory, we have the smartphone grip. Now, paired with the eBike Flow app, you can put your phone in here, get charging, get maps, and all that lovely ride data all at the same time. Obviously, one of the fantastic things about this new electronic platform is the eBike Flow app. So once you pair your bike with your phone via Bluetooth, you'll get access to a whole range of features. These features include over-the-air updates, customization of your riding modes, the inbuilt alarm lock, and even more. All very intuitive, all very accessible via your phone. So currently with this software, we're seeing a feature parity brought over from the existing Kiox and Nyon displays. This lays a really good base for them to improve the feature set over time. So for my first impressions, Thankfully, I've been able to borrow the recent Muller Charger 4 Vario, a platform that I'm pretty used to given that I've got the supercharger currently. It allowed me to focus on the Kiox 300 and LED remote. First of all, I did have to pair it with the eBike Flow app. I created a new login and the pairing process was really, really simple. So immediately when I downloaded the app, I started playing with some of the new features and found that a software update was available. I quickly did that, took about 20 minutes. Just note though, it did take up, up a lot of battery, so between 10 and 20%. So just be aware of this when updating your e-bike. So on my first ride home, the power felt very intuitive, very similar. I couldn't notice the difference between the CX motor on my current bike versus the new smart system version. The LED remote control is actually a cracker. It's so good. The button placement just allows you to change your power assist without having to look at it. You know where the buttons are, left and right as well. Very, very intuitive. The colors on the LED remote as well, very simple, nice and bright, both in daylight and at night time. I think this is fantastic, honestly. The new walk assist feature, I think is really intuitive allows you to keep walking the bike forward whilst holding down the minus button. Once you release this, the new hill hold feature is definitely a nice to have, making sure you stay still on the hill without having to hold the brake. I think one of the key selling features of this new smart system is the modularity of the head unit. The fact that you can ride with or without the Kiox 300 display just using the LED remote control. I found that when I went to the shops, I took the head unit off, left it at home, and it felt nice and safe there. The other thing is, I think they made improvements to the software lock, disabling the motor assistance when you've walked away from the bike. You get both audio feedback, visual feedback via LED indicators on the remote control and the Kiox 300 display. 
think it makes really intuitive sense, but also note that if you've got the Kiox 300 off, it works just the same. As a consequence though, the software lock is based on your phone being present with you to re-enable the bike. So if you don't have charge in your phone, you won't be able to re-enable the bike. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get to play with the smartphone grip because they weren't in stock at the time of testing. But now that we've got a unit here, I had a quick play. It's very intuitive, easy to use. You dock your phone, you get instant charging. It's pretty fantastic. And so it just goes on nice and simply. Removing the existing display, putting on just like so. Now you're ready to dock your phone. There are, however, some limitations to the Bosch Smart System, things that you should be aware of before purchasing. I think for me personally, I miss the fact that you can't get the roll-off e-shift. I miss the fact that you can't get dual battery at this point in time. We are expecting those features in roughly 2024, but for long distance tourers and trekkers, I think you're gonna to wanna to stick with Bosch current system for now. The other thing with Bosch Smart System at the moment, we are currently limited to the 750 watt hour battery. It's such a large battery that features in the bike here. Although the motor mount can be rotated, unfortunately smaller frame sizes are not available. So if you're a shorter rider, you might find yourself struggling to fit one of these Bosch Smart System bikes at least in 2022. Finally, as a salesperson, I never like to sell a bike based on the promise of future functionality. I always recommend buying it if it suits your needs today. Anything further down the line, of course, just being a great bonus. So what's coming down the line? Well, in the next couple of years, we have motors, displays, and batteries that will be brought over from their existing platform to the new Bosch Smart System motors like the cargo line motor or also the performance line motor which have a nice little update from 65 to 75 newton meters of torque we'll also have the intuvia 100 display which will come as standard for many of the new bike models a nice little lcd display with plenty of information we'll also have smaller battery sizes like their power tube 500 and 625 watt hour models allowing for smaller frame sizes to be developed It'll be also great to see the new power pack models of 545 and 725 to make it a little bit more cost effective, but also introduce into those really fun and exciting cargo bikes. So really exciting, but not here just yet, is the Bosch Connect module. It is a physical piece of kit that goes inside your drive unit and can be fitted by your service provider, just like we can. So what does it do? It actually allows inbuilt alarm systems and remote GPS tracking. You could also even shut down the motor capacity remotely via your phone. Now it is a physical item, so it does have an upfront cost as well as a subscription cost down the line. But thanks to Bosch, that'll be free for the first 12 months. Finally, from a software perspective, we are hoping to see the reintroduction of GPS maps inbuilt to the Kiox 300 display, but also focus on trails and that kind of thing, as it is currently a very great platform for your street riding, but not so much off-road sections. In the next couple of years, as this is a foundation for new software, we're really excited to see new and more capable software features come to you as a user. So as it stands, what we're seeing is old software features brought over to their new smart system platform. But because it lays a foundation for future integration and growth, we're really excited to see what's coming down the line. So finally, what do you as a customer do in mid 2022 when deciding between the new Bosch smart system or the existing Bosch electronic platform? Well, from our perspective, there are still only a few models and brands that are supporting this new smart system. And it's more important to find the right bike for you. If you have the option between both smart system and current system, well, we think there are three major things to consider. One, can you take advantage of the new larger 750 watt hour battery? Two, do you really like the modularity of the head unit, the Kiox 300 display, the smartphone grip, or just riding with the LED remote control? And thirdly, are you the sort of techie person that loves software updates and new features? 
If any of these are the case, then the smartphone system might well be worth it for you. Otherwise, if these things don't bother you, save the premium. Buy something now that's in stock and fits your riding purposes today. Well, I hope that brings you up to date with Bosch's smart system. If you're interested in purchasing one, of course, we're absolutely available. Talk to us over the phone, online, and we'll get you up in test riding.